Hi folks, Thomas Sinson here with thomassinson.com and today is the very first episode of Big Data, Big Questions in 2019. And so today I thought it would be great to start off with a topic that I'm sure all of you are struggling with and thinking about. Maybe you've already got plans and you've already implemented them, but I'm going to talk about what I think my goals are for 2019 for data engineers and I would love to hear what yours are as well. So put them in the comment section here below. I'll try to read them off on the air as we go throughout the year. I'd love to know what you're looking at, what you'd like for me to cover to help you achieve your goals. And I'm gonna try to achieve my goals as well too so we can all work through them together. So let's go through and I'm gonna talk about what my goals are for specifically around data engineers. And if you wanna stick around at the end, I'll give you a couple of my own little personal goals and we can compare those to you know, kind of what you're thinking, what you think about them. If they're dumb, let me know. So start off, start off here with my engineering goals. So the first thing, they're all going to be around certification. So I do have, like I said, I'll talk about some of my personal goals like books and some of the other things later. But I want to talk really about certifications and what certifications I'm targeting for 2019. So the first one is the Coursera Deep Learning course. So um, I took earlier, you may have seen it before. I've got a video linked here, but uh, the uh, Andrew Ning's um, machine learning course. I took it with some of the other big big data beards. So some of the other big data beards and I, Brett and Aaron Banks, we went through the course and we took it. It was pretty difficult. We actually actually did a whole uh, series around it too. So we tried keeping up, uh, doing a YouTube series around it. So that's available if you're interested in it. But this is kind of the second part to that. So I've got a deep learning course in TensorFlow that uh, I, I worked on uh, toward the end of last year and it should be going live here in the next month or two. So check that out, but I'm really kind of digging deep into the deep learning side. So I'm really interested in this course. This is something that a couple of coworkers of mine were taking uh, at, at work as well. So it's something I'm gonna dig into. I'll definitely be talking about it on this channel, but that's the number one, you know, number one certification, number one goal for data engineers that I'm tackling in 2019. The second one, there's going to be three of these that I'm going to go through, but they're the, specifically the Splunk certification. So um, I'm really digging into Splunk uh, early in this year. So I'm going to go through and get my certifications. I think the first one is the uh, certified user, and then there's the power user, and then the certified architect. So I'm going to try to knock all of those out together. I've got some things that I've been working on on the back end that are really kind of pushing me to, uh, to hit that goal. And there's some really cool stuff that's coming out with Splunk um, around machine learning and deep learning that I've been kind of interested in. So this is going to be a great opportunity for me to play with it and kind of check it out. So if anybody else is interested in Splunk, uh, just you know, make sure, make sure you let me know. That's, that's one of the things I've talked about it a little bit um, on this channel, but I, I just, uh, I, I want to see, you know, if more people are interested in Splunk and kind of, you know, what, what the aspects are from a data engineering perspective. So I get to see and talk to a lot of people um, around, around the U.S. and even globally. And so it's pretty cool just to hear some of the technologies and Splunk is one of them that continues to keep coming up. So that's, you know, that's one, the other one that I'm taking out. So right now that would be four. So four certifications in 2019. Can I do it? I believe I can. The next one has really been generated by you, the audience. So I've had a lot of questions, done a lot of videos around some of the uh, Cloudera certifications, talked about the merger between Hortonworks and Cloudera. So um, I'm going to get myself in order. Uh, you know, hopefully I'm hitting these mid middle of the year. So maybe around the middle of the year, I want to look into the Cloudera uh, certified um, data engineer. Uh, I've talked about it on this channel. I've got some videos around it, done some research on it, and even reached out to some of my friends. I've got an up and coming video because so many of you have asked. So the first one I'm going to try to tackle is that data engineering exam. But then there's an offer where like right now they're running some kind of bundle where if you go ahead and take it, take care of it, you can add for like a hundred bucks more. You can add the certification for the CCA 175. I've had a ton of questions on this channel, on LinkedIn. I appreciate everybody reaching out. I've got a video coming up around all around that. I've reached out to some of my experts, one of my Pluralsight authors. I'm guessing you know who it is, huh? 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 Maybe if you've watched the channel, um, around his take on that certification and how we can all go through and get that. So if everybody's interested, maybe you know, maybe once once we start hitting towards uh, towards this goal and towards this certification, maybe I do a vlog or maybe we do a weekly session or something like that. Hey, everybody else who wants to tackle and knock that out with me, just let me know and we'll do it. You know, we'll do it as a group and uh, just knock that certification out. So those are the ones that I want to hit. Um, so that's that comes in at six if I add the uh, CCA 175. So um, the deep learning course uh, by Coursera, 
the Splunk certification, so that's three of those, and then uh, two Cloudera certifications. That'd be six. That'd be pretty pretty decent 2019, right? So it'd be a pretty big year to get those done. Um, I think it's doable just with some of the information and some of the stuff that I've done over time around uh, all those technologies. So pretty excited. I added a couple bonus ones in there because I know um, other people are working on other certifications. Um, so one of them, if I get time, I might add is the AWS Big Data Certification. And then also I've seen some stuff around Docker that I'm kind of curious about. So a lot of what we're doing from a big data perspective and what I've been doing with TensorFlow, um, been able to take advantage of Docker and make my life a little bit easier to do some development. So might add those in there. Do not hold me to those. Do hold me accountable to the other ones. And if you stuck around this long, which I am really appreciative uh, for you doing that, I want to talk about some of my personal goals. And so some of these are going to affect you. So my big thing is how am I going to get through these certifications? How am I, how am I going to be committed and stay on the path? Um, my commitment is I'm going to continue to make a YouTube video. So this year, uh, I've been fairly consistent throughout last year. I did a, did a lot of videos. I think uh, I did over 50 or maybe close to 60 videos. But this year, I would love to uh, continue that. And I'm going to do, I'm committing to two videos a week. So I'm going to release two videos a week and then also do one live session. So that should be around 150 videos, give or take, you know, if you, <laughs> if you, if it uh, gives me a buffer for uh, holidays and some other things. But, you know, Two, two videos a week and one live. And so that helps me stay on top of, uh, you know, what's going on in the uh, ecosystem. And then also gives me a chance to share some of the stuff that I'm learning as I'm going through it. So another thing, sharpening the saw, uh, I'm going to get back into blogging uh, a lot. So toward the end of the year, I really let thomasinson.com. I didn't post as much uh, there as I did now, I, you know, for Dell EMC and Big Data Beard and uh, other venues uh, still producing content there, but I really want to get back to some of my more technical blogs and some of the things that I do on thomasinson.com. So look for look for at least you know two a month there. So that's that's a commitment there, and that kind of helps me just you know as you're going through these certifications. I mean, I'll, it's not just about like my my blog. I'm I'm telling you these things because these are the ways that help you kind of understand and apply what you're learning, and then also give you a reference to kind of go back because like sometimes you think. I mean, I don't remember every HDFS uh, <laughs> command there is. And some of the ones that I even wrote, you know, I, I've done a, I've done quite a few lists around HDFS commands and Hadoop FS commands. And I still, I go back and reference my own blog too for it. So uh, those are some of the things that kind of help you and, you know, whether whether you're building your brand, whether you're starting out in your career, or whether you just want to become better as a, a data engineer or, you know, machine learning engineer or developer there. So those that's just a tip for me. Um, and then... Two other things I'll share with everybody. So since we're all friends here, um, missed my goal on books last year. So I uh, was probably way too aggressive with it. I said 40 and I think I got like 22. <laughs> so the most I'd ever done was 22. So 40 was probably a little too aggressive for me. So in the spirit of trying again, this year I'm going for 30. <laughs> still, still probably too aggressive. I don't know. I think I can hit it. So... <laughs> Hopefully, and that's one of the ways that, you know, continuous certifications and everything like that, the more you consume and the more you read, you know, the more it's going to help you for all, all the things that we're doing data engineering wise. And then last but not least, something that I've been toying with a good bit is meditation. I want to get better about meditating and I use the Headspace app right now, not committing to always using that, but that's something that's kind of got me going in that direction and gives me that, I mean, that gives me that 10 minutes just to clear my head and try not to think about anything, learn patience or, you know, whatever, whatever some of the packs I'm going through are, but that's, you know, one way just to kind of clear my mind. So thank you for tuning in. I will see you all throughout 2019. Love to hear what your goals are. So share your goals, share any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so that you never miss another episode of Big Data. Big questions!